Okay, I'm going to cover the uh, leg check drill. Four checks, two off the front, two off the back. All right, so basically the leg checks are defense against a kicks to the body. So instead of using my hands to do flat, I'm going to use my, my legs. So in a fighting stance, fighting posture, transfer the weight. So number one is a roll check. Basically a roll check is I'm going to lift my knee up, basically only a 45 degree angle. I want to catch the, the opponent's ankle, all right? So when I do this, so comes up, my toes are up like a fish hook, my uh, foot is out at right angles, at 90 degree angle, on a slight angle, keep my elbows in, and I block straight back down into my fighting sense. Again, so up, I block, could be whatever height it's gonna be, and straight back down into my fighting stance. So it's your roll check. Now, once the next ones are called a cross check, so we're gonna bring our leg across 45 degree angle. Again, it really determines on what type of kick that person's doing. If it's a round kick, you want to make sure that you're at the height that they're kicking at. And we're blocking with the shin. So this top part of the leg here, all right, we want to block with that, not so much the bottom. So from here, I'm going to bring my foot across. And as I do that, I bring it across. My toes are pointing towards the front, 12 o'clock. And my hands are up here, creating a wall again. So I'm trying to build a wall to defend against the low. And it could go up high as well, we don't know. So my hands are out here. My knuckles aren't turned in, I turned out. That way it's a tricep action, so I'm pushing out. Again, cross check, lift the leg up, toes pointing towards the camera, and then straight back down again. I'll do it from a side angle, uh, once through, once I've done. Next one is a jam. So if someone's coming out with a front kick towards me, and I have enough room to, to bring my leg up, I'll come up with my leg to block in front of my body. From here, keeping my balance, from here, and I extend my hand out as well and covering up at the same time. So coming up and then straight back down again. Jam, straight back. Toes are up, toes are down. It's your, you're up to you uh, if you want to have your toes up or toes down. I just prefer to have my toes up. It just feels comfortable for me. All right, the last one's a high check. I come out with a palm heel. My hand comes up and I wrap my hand behind the back of my head. Uh, my elbow is pointing at a 45 degree angle and my knee is going to come up towards that. So I want to bounce. So I'm going to spring off that front leg, spring up and bring that leg up nice and high. That little spring off the front foot makes a, makes a huge difference on getting your foot up nice and fast. So from here, I've got hardly any weight on in my fighting stance. I want to go to check, I bounce up and that gets the height with the leg. If I just stand there and lift up, I'm basically using all my muscles in my back and my, my legs to get that up. So springing up makes a difference. Covering up as I come up. From a side view, so from here, from fighting stance, I've got roll check, cross check, jam, high check. I'll turn around this way, fighting stance, roll check, cross check, jam, I check and once I've finished, heels together and cover. That gives us our electric drill.